Seven surprising truths about Alaska's intense culture, and the last one is truly unexpected. This vast domain, sheltered under the midnight sun, represents much more than a sanctuary of natural splendors and wildlife. It is an epicenter of rich and deeply rooted cultural traditions. Behind its undeniable beauty, Alaska faces pressing and complex challenges. From climate changes that transform its ancient ice caps to social issues that test the tenacity of its communities, today we will explore the hidden stories of this enigmatic place. In the untamed heart of Alaska, we witness a spectacle of elemental forces. With over 100 active volcanoes, this vast area not only stands out as a bastion of natural beauty, but also serves as a stage for the most raw and magnificent expression of terrestrial power. Welcome to the Fascinating Traditions channel. Here, we unravel fascinating secrets and explore the incredible world around us. Don't miss out on the discoveries. Subscribe now, activate notifications, and embark on this knowledge adventure with us. Here, the earth not only trembles and breathes, but also expels columns of smoke and rivers of lava that redefine landscapes and forge new territories. Each eruption is a vigorous reminder that, despite the advances of modernity, we are still subjugated to the primal forces of nature. Alaska's volcanoes, with their snow-covered peaks and steep slopes, transcend the status of mere geological curiosities they are agents of change and renewal. The communities that reside under these imposing shadows experience both the generosity and danger of these dormant colossi. The soil, enriched by volcanic ash, becomes a fertile ground for native vegetation, while waters warmed by geothermal activities sustain unique ecosystems. However, the same land that sustains can also devastate. The imminence of an eruption serves as a constant reminder of the delicate balance between life and natural forces. This is volcanic Alaska, a vibrant and dangerous environment, both majestic and relentless. A place where each exhale of steam and each tremor are chapters of an ancient narrative of creation and destruction. Here, history is recorded not just in texts, but engraved on the gray soil of the mountains and in the boiling depths of the earth, where the world continues to be shaped. In this documentary, we deepen our understanding of the domain of these dormant giants, investigating how they influence the life and landscape of Alaska and how the local inhabitants adapt to living with the beauty and dangers of these explosive neighbors. In a region as vibrant as it is risky, each day is a testament to the indomitable power of planet Earth. Alaska is a tapestry of cultural diversity, where each indigenous group contributes their unique traditions and a deep connection to the land. This state, far from being a simple isolated monoculture, is a rich mosaic of native peoples, including the Inupiat, Yupik, Aleuts, Tlingit, Haida, and Tsimshian. Each community possesses its own language, art, rituals, and narratives that weave into the grand tapestry of Alaskan history. The cultural practices of these communities reflect the duality of an environment that is both relentless and generous. Activities such as salmon fishing and whale hunting transcend mere subsistence, becoming ceremonies that strengthen community bonds and cultivate respect for the natural world that sustains them. Festivals like the Nalyakatak, the Inupiat Whale Festival, are times of collective celebration to give thanks and share the fruits of a successful harvest. Alaska's indigenous art is a window into the cultural richness of the state, preserving and expressing its diversity through items such as ivory carvings, basketry, ceremonial masks, and totems. These creations are not merely handicrafts. They are tangible accounts that communicate the stories, mythologies, beliefs, and the interaction between humans, animals, and spirits. Thus, they are seen as sacred, imbued with meaning and history. Language is a vital element in the preservation of these cultures in Alaska. Despite the risk of extinction that many indigenous languages face, revitalization initiatives are being intensified. 
In schools, native languages are integrated into curricula, and there is a growing interest among young adults in learning the languages of their ancestors, recognizing that each language not only encodes a unique worldview, but is also deeply rooted in its place of origin. Moreover, the respect for traditions and the environment, intrinsic to the indigenous worldview, offers invaluable lessons in an era marked by climate change and global challenges. Sustainable practices, aimed at both subsistence and the conservation of resources for future generations, reflect the profound wisdom of these peoples in living in harmony with the environment. Finally, Alaska serves as a stage where the confluence of cultures adds layers of complexity and beauty to its state identity. Cultural festivals, educational programs, and museums dedicated to indigenous stories and traditions promote a deeper understanding for both residents and visitors, strengthening the social fabric and enriching the experience of all who share this exceptional place. Thus, Alaska not only preserves indigenous history, but also stands out as a dynamic space for cultural exchange and learning, demonstrating how different communities can coexist and mutually enrich their lives through respect and celebration of diversity. The Iditarod is not merely a sporting competition. It represents a tribute to human and canine endurance in the extreme conditions of the Arctic. This challenge spans nearly a thousand miles of icy and inhospitable terrains, where mushers and their dedicated sled dogs form a partnership of strength and spirit, pushing beyond the limits of what seems possible. The race begins in Anchorage, crossing frozen forests, desolate tundras, and ice-covered rivers, reaching Nome on the Bering Sea coast. Each team, consisting of a musher and between 12 to 16 dogs, faces sub-zero temperatures, harsh winds, and the vast solitude of the wild north. The race transcends a simple contest of speed. It is a test of skill, bravery, and, above all, deep mutual trust. The dogs, trained to overcome the toughest conditions, are more than competition partners. They are true heroes in their communities. They display extraordinary endurance, an almost instinctive sense of direction, and fervent loyalty. The bond that develops between the musher and their team during the long months of preparation and throughout the race reveals a form of communication and understanding that goes beyond words. Meanwhile, the mushers, armed with ancestral knowledge and contemporary survival techniques, lead with a mix of respect and firm determination. For many, the Iditarod represents a living connection to Alaska's history, recalling a time when sled dogs were vital for transportation and communication during the harsh winters. Held annually, the Iditarod is also an event of celebration and community gathering, where people come together to honor the culture, history, and indomitable spirit of the participants. Each checkpoint along the route becomes an opportunity for spectators and volunteers to interact, share stories, and pay tribute to the competitors' endurance. At its core, the Iditarod reflects life in the Arctic. It serves as a constant reminder of the hardships faced, the triumphs achieved, and the wild beauty that emerges in the collective struggle against the elements. This competition challenges each musher to discover within themselves a capacity that surpasses their own expectations in a test of courage, strength, and, essentially, harmony with the natural environment. While Alaska is renowned for its splendid natural beauty, its economy is heavily tied to the oil industry, a reality that has shaped the state's development since the discovery of vast oil reserves in the 1970s. However, this dependence carries significant environmental and social costs that affect local communities and the region's fragile ecosystem. The environmental impacts of oil extraction in Alaska are considerable, including the risk of oil spills that can devastate delicate habitats and local wildlife. The Exxon Valdez disaster in 1989, which resulted in the spillage of approximately 11 million gallons of crude oil into the waters of Prince William Sound, exemplifies the severe environmental damage whose consequences still linger. Beyond the risks of spills, drilling operations can destabilize permafrost, intensify erosion, and alter terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. 
The production and combustion of oil are also significant sources of greenhouse gases, contributing to global climate change. This paradox is especially stark for Alaska, a state at the forefront of climate change, experiencing warming at a rate twice the global average. This warming leads to the melting of glaciers, loss of habitat for threatened species like the polar bear, and changes in fishing patterns that are vital for the subsistence of many indigenous communities. Socially, Alaska's oil-centered economy has its benefits, such as providing well-paid jobs and funding public services through tax revenues, exemplified by the Alaska Permanent Fund. This fund distributes a portion of the oil revenues to all state residents, promoting a certain level of shared prosperity. However, this dependence also exposes Alaska's economy to the volatilities of global oil prices, resulting in significant economic instability. Communities often face a dilemma, trying to balance the need for lucrative jobs with concerns about the long-term health of their natural environments and traditional ways of life. In response to these challenges, there is a growing movement in Alaska toward economic diversification and investment in renewable energy sources, such as wind and hydroelectric power. These alternatives not only help reduce the impacts of climate change, but also promise to establish a more stable and resilient economic base for the state. The pursuit of a balance between economic development and environmental preservation is an ongoing challenge, requiring innovative solutions and effective collaboration among industries, communities, and governments to ensure a sustainable future for all generations in Alaska. Climate change is causing profound transformations in Alaska's landscape, with severe implications for its wildlife and inhabitants. The state is experiencing accelerated warming, significantly more intense than in many other regions of the world, resulting in the melting of glaciers and permafrost, rising sea levels, and changes in marine and terrestrial ecosystems that exceed even the most cautious estimates. The diminishing ice caps are altering the habitats of numerous species, including polar bears, who rely on sea ice to hunt seals, and migratory birds, which use coastal areas and wetlands for nesting and feeding. The loss of ice not only reduces the physical space necessary for the survival of these species, but also destabilizes established food chains, threatening the rich biodiversity that characterizes Alaska. Additionally, the melting of permafrost is compromising infrastructures built over decades. Roads, airports, and buildings are being damaged as the soil, once frozen and stable, begins to sink and shift. This phenomenon not only requires constant and costly maintenance, but also poses significant risks to the safety of local populations. These challenges underscore the urgency of adaptive and mitigative measures to protect the environment and communities of Alaska in the face of an uncertain and potentially adverse future. Alaska's indigenous communities, with their traditions and ways of life closely linked to the natural environment, are among the most impacted by climate change. Changes in the migratory patterns of species crucial for subsistence, such as caribou and salmon, challenge traditional hunting and fishing practices, directly affecting the food security of these communities. Additionally, changes in seasonal cycles affect cultural activities that depend on specific environmental rhythms, complicating the transmission of ancestral knowledge between generations. In response to these growing challenges, there is a movement towards adaptation and resilience. Mitigation projects are being implemented, such as the construction of more adaptable and sustainable infrastructures and the establishment of environmental monitoring programs to better track and understand the ongoing changes. Furthermore, the importance of integrating traditional indigenous knowledge with modern environmental sciences is increasingly recognized to develop management strategies that are both culturally sensitive and ecologically effective. Therefore, as Alaska faces the challenges posed by climate change, it also stands out as an example of how innovation and cooperation can be mobilized in response to one of the greatest global crises of our era. The struggle to protect Alaska's natural and cultural heritage reflects a broader issue of environmental sustainability and social justice on a global scale.
For the indigenous peoples of Alaska, the struggle for territorial rights and the preservation of their cultures in a rapidly changing world are considerable challenges. These communities are engaged in a constant battle to maintain their identity and autonomy in the face of external pressures, ranging from invasive economic development to governmental policies that often fail to fully recognize their ancestral rights and specific needs. The issue of land rights is especially critical, as for these communities, the land transcends mere subsistence, provided by hunting, fishing, and gathering, and represents a central pillar of their cultural and spiritual heritage. Large-scale projects, such as mining and oil exploration, not only threaten the ecological integrity of these territories, but also affect the very core of cultural practices that depend on healthy and intact ecosystems. These projects are often pushed forward with little or no consultation with the impacted communities, exacerbating feelings of marginalization and disrespect. This scenario underscores the importance of more effective and inclusive dialogue between indigenous peoples and authorities, ensuring that their voices are heard and their rights respected. The sustainability of indigenous ways of life in Alaska depends on the ability to keep their lands free from destructive interventions and to ensure that their traditions and values are perpetuated for future generations. Globalization and the digitalization of the modern world pose additional challenges for the preservation of the culture of Alaska's indigenous peoples. Many young people are drawn away from their communities by educational and professional opportunities, which can result in the erosion of traditional linguistic and cultural practices. The preservation of language is particularly critical as it is essential for the transmission of ancestral knowledge and traditions. Without the language, important nuances of the culture are at risk of being lost. However, Alaska's indigenous communities are facing these challenges with resilience and innovation. There is a growing effort to revitalize languages and cultural practices, often using modern technologies to engage the youth. Bilingual and culturally relevant educational programs are being implemented, allowing students to learn both the conventional academic curriculum and traditional skills. These programs ensure that young people not only maintain a connection to their cultural heritage, but are also equipped to thrive in a constantly changing world. Thus, the integration of new technologies and innovative educational approaches is helping to balance the preservation of cultural identity with the need to adapt to the globalized environment, thereby ensuring the continuity and relevance of indigenous traditions for new generations. Moreover, Alaska's indigenous communities are increasingly mobilized to ensure more effective participation in decision-making processes that impact their lands and ways of life. This mobilization goes beyond the fight for legal recognition of their territorial rights, extending to active engagement in political and environmental dialogues at state and national levels. Through such initiatives, these communities are actively shaping a future where they can not only survive but thrive, preserving their traditions while adapting to and responding to the challenges of the contemporary world. Thus, in the face of ongoing global changes, Alaska's indigenous peoples demonstrate remarkable resilience in protecting their rights and preserving their cultures. They exemplify how cultural identity and ecological sustainability can coexist harmoniously emphasizing that it is possible to align tradition and modernity in a unified struggle for social and environmental justice. This approach not only strengthens their social and political position, but also serves as an inspiring model for how communities can influence policies and practices to ensure a fairer and more sustainable future. Alaska, with its vast and sparsely populated expanses, faces a silent mental health crisis exacerbated by isolation and the prolonged darkness of winter. The distance of many residents from urban centers complicates access to adequate mental health services, amplifying a sense of deep isolation. During the long winter months, some regions of the state experience periods of near total darkness, a factor that can significantly affect the mood and psychological well-being of its inhabitants. The lack of sunlight contributes to a high prevalence of seasonal affective disorder, SAD, 
a form of depression that occurs in a seasonal pattern, particularly in the winter months. Additionally, severe weather conditions and isolation can limit outdoor activities and social contact, crucial elements for mental health. For many, Alaska's challenging environment, despite its natural beauty, can become oppressive and inhospitable, intensifying feelings of anxiety and loneliness. This situation highlights the urgent need for strategies adapted to improve the access and effectiveness of mental health services in Alaska, considering the state's unique characteristics and the specific needs of its population. In response to these challenges, mental health services in Alaska are adopting innovative approaches to reach and support isolated populations. Telehealth has expanded considerably offering patients the ability to consult with mental health professionals via video conferencing. This mode of care is especially crucial in areas where physical access to therapists or psychiatrists is complicated by great distances. Alaska's indigenous communities face specific mental health challenges, often exacerbated by generational traumas from the loss of land, culture, and language, among other contemporary adversities. In response, some mental health programs have integrated traditional practices and cultural perspectives into treatments, recognizing the fundamental role of culture in recovery and individual well-being. Moreover, significant efforts have been made to increase awareness about mental health and reduce the stigma associated with it, especially in Alaska's rural and remote communities. Public education campaigns and educational programs in schools aim to inform and support young people and adults, encouraging them to seek help when necessary and to identify signs of psychological distress in themselves and others. These initiatives are vital for building a more informed and resilient community, ready to face the unique challenges posed by the Alaskan environment. In summary, as Alaska faces its silent mental health crisis, it is essential that efforts continue to be adapted to the state's unique features, ensuring that all Alaskans have access to the necessary support to not just survive, but thrive under the Northern Lights. Alaska teaches us about beauty and resilience and highlights the importance of taking care of our world. We hope you enjoyed exploring this magnificent place. Leave a like, share your impressions in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more adventures like this. Also, check out our video recommendation to find out which country we'll explore next. Until our next journey,